Om Shanti. Today is 3rd September 2023 and we shall listen to the Avyakta versions of Avyakta Bhap Dada. These Avyakta versions were spoken by Avyakta Bhap Dada on 25th November 1995. The title for today's Murli is Become Free from Following the Dictates of Others, Parmat. Thinking about others per chintan and looking at others per darshan and become one who uplifts others. Today, Bab Dada is looking at all of those who are children of the Father, those who are special souls. Bab Dada is looking at the special souls, whether they are from Bharat or from any corner of the foreign lands. Bab Dada is seeing all the special souls as being very close to him. Bab Dada is also pleased to see his special children. You children also experience happiness seeing the father, do you not? You feel happy. And this is why you come running here. Baba says, it is out of happiness that everyone reaches Madhuban. So too, the father also has the happiness that each child of his is a special child, a special soul. So Baba is also happy to see all of his special children, the special souls. Whether you souls are old, uneducated, young children, in your youth or householders, you are special souls. When compared to the whole world, Baba says, when compared to the whole world, you all are special souls. No matter that they are great scientists, who show miracles, even if they have reached the moon, when compared to the special children of the father, they are ignorant. Baba says even the scientists are ignorant. They know about the five elements and have even gained victory over them, but they do not know about the tiny point the soul. Here in the Yakya, here if you ask even a small child, a little child, who are you? What would he say? He would say, I am a soul. He would even show you where the soul resides. Hmm? Baba says, the great scientists are ignorant about the knowledge about the soul. They have reached the moon, they have mastered the elements, but they do not know anything about the tiny point, the soul. Whereas here, even a little child, five years of age, he would also tell you that is a soul and where the soul resides. However, Ask a scientist, what is a soul? And he has not yet been able to know about souls. No matter how great someone is, in terms of history or special, in terms of the world, if he doesn't know himself, then a child of five years here is more special. This is why Baba is seeing all his special children who are master ocean of knowledge. Then Baba says, at the beginning, you all had a very intoxicating song. Do you remember the song? You used to have a song, no matter how great a lord or merchant someone may be. If he doesn't know Aleph, 
no matter how great he is, whether he is a political leader or an actor, if he doesn't know himself, what does he know? This was the lines of a particular song in the Yajna that was sang. So Baba says, so you are such special souls. Here on one side, you have uneducated old mothers. Whereas there on the other side, they may have a Mahatma. Yet, these old mothers would say with intoxication that they have attained God. And the Mahatma would say that it is very difficult to attain God. Whereas here, what would a mother who is 100 years old and whose intellect has faith say? You might be still searching for God, but I have attained God. So what is the Mahatma compared to you? And Baba is showing the comparison of a scientist and a five-year-old child. How special Baba's children are. And an uneducated mother who has attained God and who would say with intoxication, yes, I have attained God. Whereas the mother, the Mahatma would say, it is very difficult to attain God. Then the third comparison, householders would say with intoxication that they sleep in a double bed while living together. You say, we still, we are still pure even while living together because we have the Father in between us. However, what would a Mahatma say? He would say that it is impossible for fire and cotton wool to live together. Yet, what is it for you? Householders speak. Is it easy or difficult to remain pure? What is it like? Is it easy? Or does it sometimes feel difficult? Those who are strong can speak even in a large gathering and say with intoxication, what can they say? That purity is their original religion. It is not another external religion, but their own original religion. Whatever belongs to you is easy to follow. Whereas whatever is external to you feels difficult. So purity is our original religion. So it is easy to follow. Impurity is an external religion. Whereas purity is your original religion. So do you know your speciality? Baba is asking, so do you know your speciality? Many new ones have come. But no matter how new you are, the lesson of purity is firm, isn't it? There are even some children who say that for the year until they meet the father, they are all right. And that it is because everyone else knows that they are very strong in following the disciplines. So there are many children who for a year or so, they observe purity. And then they become lazy in it. However, once they have been to Madhuban and seen it, once they have come here, they then become careless when they return. However, just think about it. To whom did you make the promise of purity? Baba is cautioning. To the Father. It is the Father's order. So if you become careless after having made a promise to the Father, who would experience the loss? In the Brahmin family, when one leaves, Ten others come. However, those souls still experience a loss because of being weak. 
Therefore, those new children who have come here for the first time, you have come to the father's home and this is your great fortune. Baba says, when you have come here, it is your great fortune. However, do not ever let the line of your fortune decrease even slightly. Continue to increase your fortune. In the world outside, when a baby is born, what does everyone say? They say, may he live forever or have a long life. They bless the child and they bless him that may he have a long life. So Bap Dada also wishes to see the eternal speciality of the special souls, not the speciality of just a short time. It should not be something that only lasts for one or two years. Only those who remain eternal receive an eternal reward. So, are the mothers strong? Baba is asking, are the mothers strong? Whether you are one year old, two years, or four years old in knowledge, the completion will take place at the same time. The completion of time will take place at the same time. Destruction will take place at the same time. Or will you say that you are still only two years old and that you wish to have your silver jubilee and then destruction can take place? It will not be like that. That would not happen. Baba says the time is the same for all. This is why those who have come later have to go ahead. You can earn a great deal in a short time. At least you have received some time to make effort. As you make further progress, you will not receive even this much time. Baba says those who would come in the end, they would not even receive this much time. You were told earlier that the board for being late has been put up. Huh? Late. This board has been put up. But the board for being too late has not yet been put up. So all of you are lucky. Simply continue to move forward while keeping your fortune in your awareness. Do not get involved in other matters. Which other matters should we not involve ourselves? Now Baba is taking, at, taking us into the, the dharna aspect. So till now he was praising the special souls and their special fortune of how great they are in comparison to the world. Now Baba says, do not get involved in other matters. So what are those other matters? Today, Bap Dada was seeing why the time for making effort of some children goes to waste. No one wants this to happen. You all want your time to be used in a worthwhile way. Yet, in between, sometimes half an hour, Sometimes 15 minutes and sometimes even 5 minutes are wasted. And so, what is the reason for that? Why is time wasted? Today, Bap Dada saw that there are three reasons why the efforts of the majority of you are very little or weak. So, which are the three reasons? First, while you continue to move along, you mix the dictates of other souls with Srimad. Someone may have told you something and you would think that the one who has told you that this is very good, honest Maharati, the one who has told you, you feel is very good, 
honest maharathi you even have faith in that soul and when such a soul relates something to you it is interesting it is of course good news to hear baba says it is of course good to hear news just as you love listening to the news of the world so too you also love listening to the news of the brahmin world so because of having faith in that soul you absorbed whatever he told you within yourself you did not cut him baba says you did not cut him off so of course it may be true news can also be true not all of it is false some may even be honest but what is the father's direction baba says what is the father's direction is it baba's order that you may listen to such news no whatever you have no connection with if it is just interesting news and you cannot do anything about it if you heard it that news would have entered your intellect and your time was wasted was it not you mix the dictates of others with the shrimat that you have received from the father the father has given us the direction a shrimat do not listen to anyone's waste and when we mix the dictates with the opinions of others and listen to them very carefully then we are mixing or we are under the influence of the dictates of others the father's direction is that while listening do not hear so why did you hear it you have instilled that habit for instance baba is giving an example for instance someone may relate some news to you once and you enjoyed that very much because it was something new sometimes it happens that you listen to them once and so where would they go the second time they would come to you so you became a dustbin for them whatever such news they have they will come and relate that to you because you listened to them before therefore explain to them and liberate them from such matters do not increase your interest by listening to them however if you do listen to them have that much courage that you are able to put a full stop for them and for yourself for all time baba says even if you listen then you should have that much of courage that you are able to put a full stop for them and for yourself all the time let there not be the slightest feeling of dislike even in your mind or vision for that particular soul whose news you were listening to them whose news you were listening from them so baba says let there not be the slightest feeling of dislike even in your mind or vision for anyone who shares such news if you have this much power then this is not listening to them but it is like bringing benefit to them <clears throat> so baba says then this is not listening to them but it is like bringing benefit to them however in the result it is seen that the majority of you collect, collect rubbish hmm? what did baba see in the result in the result it is seen that the majority of you collect collect rubbish and little by little it makes a difference in your behavior and activity then 
even if there isn't anything else you would not have any feeling of serving that soul but you would feel heavy this is known as mixing the dictates of others with shreemat even bakdada listens to the news but what happens is that the intention of the majority of you changes even in relating something the intention changes how baba gives an example one comes and says i saw that these two were speaking hearing this the second person says they were standing there but not standing very nicely so this was an addition then the third one says they always do that whatever were their feelings and intentions about the conversation they were changed so this dictate of others spoils the atmosphere therefore the reason that time is wasted is firstly by your following the dictates of others and secondly by your thinking about others so first getting influenced by the dictates of others parmat and secondly by your thinking about others parchintan it cannot happen that you hear something and then don't relate it to eight or 10 others this should not happen even when others are in a far away country you would write to them about how something new happened here and that you would definitely tell them about it when they come here so what is this thinking about others when you tell four people about something you spoil the feelings of the four people for that one person then once the thinking of other starts baba says then once the thinking of others start its speed becomes very fast and carries on for a long time second so that was par mat then par chintan thinking about others does not finish in one or two seconds bab dada tells you that to make someone interested in listening to knowledge you should relate knowledge in the form of a story what happened first and then what happened after that therefore their interest increases in this way as to what happened next and what happened after that this type of thinking about others is also an interest the other person would then definitely think what happened next yes it must have happened like this so this story also becomes very long bab dada sees and hears about the things in everyone's hearts no matter how much someone tries to hide it bab dada does not reveal it openly in public but he does know everything and he sees everything no matter how much someone says no i don't ever do this bab dada has a register of how many times you did something what you did at what time you did it and to how many you did it baba has a register of all of that it is just that he sometimes has to remain quiet baba says it is just that he sometimes has to remain quiet so the second aspect is in thinking about others parchintan they would never have thoughts of the eternal self when anything happens those who think about others 
would blame others for their own mistake. And those who think about others are number one in making up stories. They would blame others for their mistake and prove themselves to be right in such a way that those seniors who hear them would have to remain silent. So having thoughts of the original self is not just repeating points of knowledge or relating points of knowledge or listening to the points of knowledge. Rather, having thoughts of your original self means to finish your own subtle weaknesses and little mistakes by thinking those thoughts. To transform mistakes is to have thoughts of your original self. Swachintan means to transform the mistakes. However, all of you are very clever at listening and relating knowledge, that is, at having thoughts of knowledge. That is journey. But the deep meaning of having thoughts of the original self is to be thinking about oneself. When the results are announced, Baba says, when the results are announced, it will not be seen that someone churned the knowledge very well or that he used the knowledge for service very well. Before that result, one has to have thoughts of the original self and transform oneself. To have thoughts of the original self means to bring about transformation, to bring about a change in themselves. So for the results, Bap Dada is telling you that when the final results are announced, the first marks will be for your being a practical embodiment of dharna. Those who are an embodiment of dharna will be natural yogis anyway. If you want to claim high marks, what should you do? So Baba is showing us a yukti, what should be done? What do you give lectures on nowadays? On values. So check what you relate to other about their value. First, there are marks for service. But there are also marks for being an embodiment of dharna. One mark for service and ten marks for dharna. So how can we increase our marks? In the final result, one mark for service, whatever you have done, and 10 marks for dharna. So the ratio is 1 by 10. If you are not able to give knowledge, but you are able to create an impact with your dharna, you then accumulate marks for your service. Many people think nowadays that they receive a very small chance to do service, that they want to do more service. I should receive a chance first. Why? Others are given a chance, so why am I not? It is very good to do service because when the intellect is free, it creates a lot of waste. Therefore, Doing service is very good way of keeping your intellect busy. You had very good enthusiasm for doing service, but according to the drama or the circumstances, you were not given the chance. Then, if instead of serving others, your stage fell or the service you did brought about fluctuation, then what service was that? What practical fruit would you receive from that service? True service. Service done with love and service done with everyone's blessings. Now, true service is service done with love 
and service done with everyone's blessings gives the instant practical fruit of happiness. However, while doing service, if you have any ill feeling, do you know what that Brahmin feeling is called? What do Brahmins call that feeling? Flu. What does someone who has flu do? Somebody who has fever, flu, what does he do? So what does someone who has flu do? He goes to sleep. He would not eat anything but would go to sleep. Here too, what happens when someone has a bad feeling? He would either stop eating or sit and sulk. So this is also flu, is it not? If you are an embodiment of dharna and a true server, you would not do service with any selfish motive. One is to do service with benevolent feelings and the other is to do service with selfish motives, such as that your name is glorified, that your photograph will be printed in the newspaper or shown on TV, that this will happen. There are many ways for your name to be glorified amongst the Brahmins. Your teacher would keep you in the front and would ask about you. All of these feelings are of service done with selfishness. All of these feelings are of service done with selfishness. However, according to the present time, according to the revelation of at this time, service now will come to you. Baba says, according to the present time, what will happen? According to the revelation at this time, service will now come to you. The aspect at the time of establishment was something different. You will not have to chase after service. Service will itself come walking to you. If you are a true server, and you do not receive any other service. Bap Dada says that you will still have to serve with your face and your behavior. Let your face give a vision of the Father. Let your face and your behavior remind others of the Father. This is the foremost service. This is the foremost service. Be such serviceable souls who do not have any selfish motives. Do not think that you alone should be given a chance. I should be given this chance. Why am I not given this chance? I should be given this chance. Such thoughts are called selfishness. Baba says, when you demand that I should get this, I should be given a chance. Such thoughts are called selfishness. Such thoughts are also called selfishness. Even though your name is not well known in the Brahmin family, though you are a good server, yet your name is not known. The father has your name. Your name is in the Father's heart. Since your name is in the Father's heart, what more do you want? And not just in the Father's heart, but because Bap Dada keeps the accounts. When the final number is given, your number will be ahead. You may not have received a chance. You may be right but you were not given a chance and so that is also noted. Baba notes everything. If you asked for a chance and did something, you also had some marks cut by doing that. The account of Dharmaraj is no less. It is very subtle account. This is why you have to be an altruistic server. 
Baba says, this is why you have to be an altruistic server. You should not have any selfish motive. You should have the motive of bringing benefit. If, for instance, you are given a chance, Baba says, if, for instance, you are given a chance, but someone else thinks that it would be very good if he receives that chance, and that person is also worthy of it, and if you give the chance to that one who is worthy, your share is accumulated in that. Even if you did not do it, even by giving someone else the chance to do it, you accumulate your share of it. You do wish to become a true diamond. And so you must understand the accounts. Baba is taking us into the subtlest aspect of dharna. So Baba says, you do wish to become a true diamond and you must understand the accounts. Do not move along carelessly and think, it is all right, it happened anyway. The account book is very subtle. The father does not have to do anything. Everything is automatic. Sometimes, Bap Dada looks at the children's account book. The first aspect is following the dictates of others. And the second aspect is thinking about others. The third aspect is looking at others, par darshan. So par mat, par chintan and par darshan. The majority of you is very clever at looking at others. When you look at others, where would that vision go afterwards? It would then enter your intellect. However, how can those who use that time in looking at others have time to look at their own selves? Many children think that many things happen and that whatever happens, they hear about it and they see it. The greater the gathering, the more things happen, definitely. The bigger the gathering it is, the more things happen. Why do these things happen? Many think that this thing should not happen. It is right to say that they should not happen. But why do you spend time on whatever you think should not happen? These things are a test paper. Baba says these things are a test paper. The greater the study, the harder the paper. To create this atmosphere is a test paper for everyone. To what extent do you keep yourself safe? It depends upon you how you have to keep yourself safe. So to what extent do you keep yourself safe from following the dictates of others, from thinking about others, and from looking at others? There are two separate things. Which are the two separate things? One is responsibility. To look and hear with the feeling of benevolence. It is all right if it is your responsibility and you have benevolent feelings. However, to see or listen to or think about other things about them and thereby create an upheaval in your own stage is wrong. If you consider yourself to be responsible, then before taking on that responsibility, you must make your break very powerful. Before you drive up a hill, huh? in the physical world also, Baba says, before you drive up a hill, you are warned in advance to check your brakes. Responsibility is also to have an elevated stage. 
you may take on a responsibility. But first check whether you are able to put a dot in a second. Baba says, when it comes to responsibility, check whether you are able to put a dot in a second. Or is it that you put a dot, but instead of a dot, a question mark is applied? That is wrong. Your time and energy are wasted in that. Baba says, if you have question marks all the time, then that is wrong. Because your time and energy are wasted in that. First of all, make your break powerful. You saw something, you heard something, and you brought benefit. You did as much as possible and put a full stop. If you have such a stage, then take that responsibility. Otherwise, see but do not see, hear but do not hear. Maintain thoughts of your original self. There is benefit in this. Immediately bring drama in your intellect that there is also benefit in this. So what was the lesson of today? These three aspects become free from following the dictates of others, from thinking about others, and from looking at others. Huh? These three aspects become free from that. Baba says, become completely free from following the dictates of others, from thinking about others, and from looking at others. What else should you do? What else should you do? Become free from these things and imbibe one thing. This one thing is to be one who uplifts others. Finish these three things to do with others and instead do this one thing for others that is uplift others. Do you know how to do this? Which things will you liberate yourself from? What will you mothers do? Will you uplift your children or all others? Become those who uplift everyone. Is this easy or difficult? Acha, to all the special souls in all directions of the world, to those who constantly have thoughts of the original self, to the elevated souls who constantly churn this knowledge, to the closed souls whose every thought, word and deed are according to the Father Srimad, to the special souls in all four directions who make themselves and service move forward in the Diamond Jubilee, to such special souls, Bap Dada's love, remembrances and Namaste. Bap Dada's blessing for us children today is, may you be powerful and become a Mahavir to restore with the life-giving herb the consciousness of those who have become unconscious. I repeat, may you be powerful and become a Mahavir to restore with the life-giving herb the consciousness of those who have become unconscious. Because the sun is powerful, it spreads its light everywhere with its power. Similarly, you have to become powerful and give everyone the life-giving herb and continue to do the service of making unconscious ones conscious. You will then be called a Mahavir. Constantly be aware that you have to become victorious and make everyone else victorious. The way to become victorious is to keep yourself busy. Stay busy in the task of benefiting yourself and the world and the atmosphere will then continue to become one that destroys obstacles. Today's slogan is, let your heart be constantly focused on the one comforter of hearts. This is real tapasya. I repeat, 
Let your heart be constantly focused on the one comforter of hearts. This is real tapasya. Acha Om Shanti.